Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Mr. McCuddy and we're back with another story time. Thank you guys for coming back to my channel once again to watch my videos. It means so much to me. But anyway, today's story time. Huh, it's a crazy one, boys. This shit took place way back in middle school. So yeah, I'm just gonna jump right into it. Alright, so like I said, this took place way back in middle school. It was like 7th grade year, way before I even started smoking weed. So yeah, it was just a normal day. I got up did my morning routine and I went to school by the way I absolutely dreaded middle school oh my god like my middle school was so fucking trash like I kid you not it, it was terrible it was so bad because for some reason our district thought it would be a good idea to have these things called um period blocks right and basically it would be for English and math where you would have to sit in one classroom for like three hours straight bro I don't know if it was just our school doing that but that shit fucking blew me nobody liked that block period bro it was so fucking annoying but yeah that's what made middle school for me so fucking annoying was those block periods man after one year they stopped doing it because i think they realized how much of a fucking dumb idea it was but oh my god that shit was terrible don't even get me started on my fucking middle school because i could sit here and talk about that shit for hours but anyway let's get back into the story so yeah like i said Little, little seventh grader Cuddy, just, you know, doing his normal thing, being a good kid in school, just, you know, going about my day. And I don't know, some of you guys are probably like, what? You you were being good in school? Fuck out of here. You were not being good at school. Yes, yes, I was. Seventh and eighth grade year, I was actually good in school. It was when I got into high school was when I started slacking and, you know, not doing anything. So, yeah, I got into school, went about my day. It was a normal day pretty much for, like, the first half of the day. But after lunch is when shit went downhill. So after lunch, I went to my next period of class that I would have after lunch, right? And I had to use the bathroom. So I asked my teacher, I'm like, yo, can I go use the bathroom? And she's like, yeah, just hurry back. Don't take too long. So I was like, okay. So I took the hall pass and I got out the room and went to the bathroom, right? And as I'm going to the bathroom, I passed by my boys class and I looked through the window. You, you guys ever just passed by your boys class? You look through the window, you give them that look and they give you that look back. They like, I bet, hold on, I'm about to ask for the hall pass. That's exactly what happened. So he asked his teacher for the hall pass, he came out of class, and we just started walking around. So we're having a little conversation or whatever, and I tell him, like, yo, let's go to the bathroom real quick, because that's, like, the, that's the main reason why I came out of the class. I gotta go use the bathroom real quick. He's like, I bet. Let's go to the bathroom. So we went to the bathroom, and before you go into the bathroom, we had to sign in. That's how it was in our school. If you go to the bathroom, there's always going to be a hall monitor waiting outside the bathroom. You have to sign in. You have to put what time you went in the bathroom. And then when you come out, you have to write down the time you came out. Which, to this day, I still wonder why. Like, why do we have to write what time we had to take a piss or a shit and write down what time we finished taking a piss or shit? You know, it's just like, what's the point? But anyway, we both sign in and we walk in. I go to take a piss. And he's just chilling in the bathroom, right? He's doing stupid shit. This kid used to fucking wet paper, no, he used to wet toilet paper and stick that shit to the walls and to the ceiling. I don't know why, all right? Uh, he was just, it was his thing. I don't know. He thought it was funny. But yeah, I finish using the bathroom. I go to wash my hands, right? And as I'm washing my hands, we see these two kids walk in. And off the bat, these kids already looked sketchy as fuck. Like, they were whispering to each other. And as they were walking in and they saw us, they kind of, like, got scared, I guess. And they were about to walk out. But then one of them was like, no, no, come on, wait. Just wait till they leave. And I was like, what the fuck? What is this about? So my friend ends up walking out, you know, just fucking leaving me there with these two weirdos. I'm still washing my hands. And I smell something. I don't know where, I just smell something. I'm like, wait, I know that smell. What is that smell? So I keep sniffing. Low key though, you know, I'm not like making it mad obvious. I'm not like, <laughs> I'm just like, I'm sniffing to myself. I'm like being low key about it. I'm like, yo, that's fucking weed. And then it clicked. I was like, okay, so now I, okay, I know what's going on now. Now I know what's going on. Now I know why these kids are acting sketchy. Let me get the fuck out of here because I'm not trying to have any part of this. So I get the fuck out of there as quick as I can. I ended up not even like drying my hands with the dryer. I just wiped them shits on my clothes and I was out. So as I walk out, my boy's waiting for me at the end of the hall and I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Like, why'd you just leave me in there? He's like, bro, 
those dudes had weed on them. I was not trying to stay in there. And I was like, yeah, I know. They did have weed on them. I, I noticed that once you left, I started smelling that shit. And he was like, yeah, I got the fuck out of there, bro. I'm not trying to get in trouble for anything. And I was like, yeah, I feel you. I feel you. So, yeah, we're basically just talking about the whole situation until we eventually we get back to our classes. I dab him up. He goes back to his class. I go back to my class. So, yeah, I go back to class, start doing my work, and just completely forget about the whole situation that happened in the bathroom. But 10 or 15 minutes later, we hear a knock at our classroom door. So I look out the classroom door and I see it's a security guard. So I get kind of scared because I instantly remembered the situation that I was just in when I was in the bathroom. But then I told myself, I was like, yo, like I can't get in trouble. You know, I literally did nothing. So the teacher opens the door and the security guard asks her to step outside. So they step outside, she closes the door and they start talking. So after a couple seconds of them talking, they open the door back up. The security guard looks at me and he goes, Josh, please come with us. And I get scared. Now I know you guys are probably like, yo, like, why were you getting scared? You know, you literally did nothing. There's no reason for you to get scared. But I wasn't thinking that. I was just thinking like, yo, I was just in the bathroom with people that were selling weed. Like, this looks bad. So as we walk out the classroom and we start walking down the hall, I look at the security guard and I'm like, yo, why'd you pull me out of class? And he doesn't give, he, he's giving me the silent treatment, bro. He doesn't say a word. I asked him like two or three times. I'm like, can you tell me why you just pulled me out of class? And he goes, I'm not allowed to talk to you right now. Just follow me. So he takes me up to the principal's office. And once I get in there, sure enough, my friend that was in the bathroom with me is there already. And I look at him and I'm like, yo, what, like, what is going on right now? He's like, I don't know. They just brought me up here too. And I'm like, you don't think this has anything to do with like what happened downstairs in the bathroom, do you? He was like, nah, man, I don't think so. Like we, we didn't do anything. How could we get in trouble for that? And I'm like, I don't know, man. Like it did look kind of bad. I mean, we were in there as this shit was going on. So we, we were there. And he goes, yeah, but I mean, like, how are we going to get in trouble? You know, like, we literally did nothing. And I was like, yeah, you're right, dude. I'm probably just worrying too much. So me and my friend are just sitting there and the principal walks in. She looks at both of us and she goes, you guys have anything to tell me? And we're like, no. And she goes, are you guys sure you have nothing to tell me? And we're both like, yeah, we have nothing to tell you. And she goes, listen. Why do you guys just tell me the truth and not make me have to force it out of you? So me and my friend are just sitting there quiet, like we don't know what to say. Cause I mean, honestly, like what do you even say at this point? So she goes, you guys have nothing to say. And we both just look at her and shrug our shoulders. So she goes, all right, let me refresh your memory. We got a call from a hall monitor downstairs at the bathroom that you guys used. And the hall monitor said that there was some kind of exchange that went on in the bathroom. So we sent a security guard to the bathroom that you guys used. He went in there and told us that it smelled like marijuana in there. Do you know anything about that? And I go, yeah. And she goes, oh, so you're admitting to it. And I'm like, no, I am not admitting to anything. I was using the bathroom. I started washing my hands. And as I was doing so, two other students walked in and they immediately were looking shady. And after a couple seconds of them being in the bathroom, as I was washing my hands, I started to smell what they had on them. So I got out. That's what happened. And she goes, oh, really? Because we were told by those other students that you were the one that was selling weed to your friend here. And I'm like, that's bullshit. That is literal bullshit. We did not sell. I did not sell weed to my friend. And she goes, watch your mouth, please. And I'm like, I'm sorry, but you have you're, you got this all wrong. This is a huge mistake. I don't sell weed. I don't smoke weed. I don't do any of that. And she says, okay, so if we search you right now, we won't find anything on either of you or smell anything. And we're like, no, you won't find or smell anything. So sure enough, she has a security guard start searching us. And as he's searching us, I ask her, I go, have you guys thought about searching the other people? And she says, no. And I'm like, oh, that's fair. That's fair and professional, by the way. And she goes, don't tell us how to do our job. And I'm like, well, you guys obviously need some pointers because you're not doing it right. And she goes, I can get you suspended for disrespect. And I'm like, well, at least you'll actually have a reason for suspending me right there. And she goes, and just keep your mouth shut. So they finished searching us, obviously didn't find anything because we didn't have anything on us. Like I said, we weren't even weed smokers at the time. So after they search us, they search our lockers, they search our book bag they don't find anything they don't smell anything they take us back to the office and they sit us down this time they sat us down in the waiting area before you get into the office so they sat us down there right they sat us down there 
a couple minutes go by and we see the kids that actually did do that whole drug deal in the bathroom walk in so they walk in the principal takes them into the office so about like half an hour goes by of us just sitting in this goddamn waiting area and she finally comes out and brings us back into the office so she sits us down she looks at us and she goes guys i am completely sorry for accusing you both of doing this when it was not you guys at all it was completely unprofessional on my end i should have searched the two kids before i searched you guys josh you were right it was completely unfair for us to accuse you like this we're we're terribly sorry and she goes we ended up searching the two kids and sure enough one of the kids had a jar in his book bag that reeked of marijuana and the other kid had marijuana on him so that pretty much confirmed that it was them and i'm like see i told you like we didn't do anything thank you for actually searching those kids i'm still kind of angry that you just accused us of both selling weed in the bathroom though and she goes once again completely sorry about that i assure you it won't happen again and i'm like yeah i hope it doesn't and she was like all right you guys can go back to class now so we both got up we walked the fuck out of there and we look at each other and we were just like bro what the fuck happened like what just happened we literally just almost got accused or pretty much we did get accused we almost got in trouble for selling weed in the bathroom when we clearly didn't do that shit and my friend is just like he wasn't talking the whole time and he's still not talking and i'm like bro are you good and he's like yeah like i was just like in shock dude i was really scared i thought we were like about to take the blame for that and I was like, fuck that, dude. Like, I'm not going to let us get in trouble for that. And he was like, yeah, man. Yo, good shit. Like, you really stood your ground in there. I'm sorry I didn't back you up. I was just, like, really scared. I didn't know what to say. And I look at him. I'm like, nah, bro. You're good. You're good. I completely understand. So, yeah. That was pretty much it. After that, I dabbed him up. We both went back to our classrooms and went on about our day. But it's just like, god damn, dude. Like, how unprofessional is that? I mean, like, come on literally about to get two innocent kids in serious trouble like that's not like some oh you're about to get a detention type shit like that is some serious shit right there you can get in a lot of trouble for having weed in school oh and trust me i'm talking from experience because my dumb ass got caught high in high school well actually i still stand by it till this day bro i did not get caught i got snitched on but yeah that story time does have a lot of views it's one of my most viewed story times and one of my best ones in my opinion one of the funniest ones so if you want to go check it out make sure you go check it out caught high in school but yeah that's pretty much it if you guys made it to the end of the video, I want to thank you so much. Smash that like button if you guys did enjoy. If you are new, subscribe to my channel. Turn on that post notification bell so you never miss another upload from me again. And with that being said, you guys are all awesome. Love each and every one of you. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Mr. McCuddy, out. Nice die slow. I feel so alive. I'm like, why drive slow? I epitomize all the dice I roll. I'm just trying to stay connected like the Wi Fi coach. Yeah. Playing chess and rocking, check your pants. Got them lines, you see the sands. I do not work for the man. Last night.